Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello to you and welcome back to the channel, especially you early viewers. I really, really appreciate your support and today you're joining me for the start of my next adventure. I'm going to be heading over to Dubai. Today we're going to be going to the Dubai Motor Show, but I'm going to be there for three weeks and I have so much awesome and epic car stuff lined up. I promise you, you're going to want to stay tuned for all of this and make sure you click that bell button down below to get instant notifications on the latest videos. But today we're going to get started. I've got to jump in the car, head over to Heathrow, catch the flight to Dubai, and then we're going to go straight in to the motor show to check out the cars that are there. to you from the sweltering heat here in Dubai. So about a seven hour flight, I've slept for three or four hours, but we're gonna go straight over now to the motor show, where I'm gonna be traveling thanks to Gargash Mercedes here in Dubai in a Mercedes S-Class. So from Mercedes at home to Mercedes out here right now, but let's jump in and head on over to the motor show, where I'm joined by Mark. Hello. But we'll step in. Oh, that's nice and cool, air conditioned, right, so. It's motor show time. Let's Off go. We go. It's time. Let's head inside and check out what is in the Dubai Motor Show. There's an AMG Project One on the window over there, which is kind of cool, but there should be some pretty awesome hypercars and supercars inside. Let's go take a look. Oh boy, Dubai never disappoints. Look at this little lineup. We've got an LT Spider, an R8, and an AMG GTR. Little display from the Dubai police. That car has some MSO carbon on it. Very, very nice. And well, the second AMG GTR you've seen in this video, but looking cool in the livery like that. Then we have the Lego GT3 RS alongside a full scale GT3 RS. That is crazy. That's huge for a Lego Technic model. Insane. Straight into the hall, and I'm beelining for the car in front of me, the Aston Martin Valkyrie. We're going to have a proper look at this later on, but that is the actual car. It is insane. That thing is just absolutely crazy. Uh, what else do we have? Having a quick glance. Brabus down at the end, Ferrari, Lamborghini, Maserati, 812 looking nice that way. Some cars still under covers. We have W Motors, McLaren, Porsche. You can see Rolls Royce at the very end. Okay, fair to say there are a fair few cool cars here to take a look at. We will do our best to give you some highlights of this show, not just this hall, the other hall as well, but there's a lot to see. And we know what's under that, the AMG Project 1, so we'll see that when the cover is off as well. We've got the Ford GT race car, the World Endurance Championship Le Mans winning car. Yeah, hey, nice, hey, nice. One, two. Quick shout out, by the way, to this epic carpet. I've never seen a motor show carpet as good as this, having a road to walk down between all of the brands. Top marks Dubai for that. Oh, Dubai Police. Let's see, what do they have over there? I can see a Wraith and an i3. Oh, I was hoping to see like a Bugatti or something next time. It's the crazy, crazy GTR drift car, the one that I filmed with, I think about a year ago or so, and actually drove myself. In fact, Guinness World Record there, fastest vehicle drift ever done in that thing, and it was some ridiculous speed. Crazy, crazy monster. The team from Mattel Design are here with the second Zero Uno, and we can tell, looking around here, it's changed a little bit from the first car that I rode in at the Festival of Speed earlier this year. Here. looks absolutely crazy it's part of the VW group so platform sharing with the R8 V10 so there's a 5.2 litre naturally aspirated V10 in that thing but just look at it it's so so cool it's just awesome that it's or well, something that crazy that they can still make them a quick look at the classic land the motoring nostalgia they call it what do we have here some very nice Ferraris old Corvettes Nice cars, nice cars. Oh, I see Bugatti. Beeline straight for the chrome blue Veyron. Now, we've actually seen that exact car before. There's a Superleggera behind. There is, oh, no, Super Trofeo Stradale even. There is a green hell 
AMG GTR, number three today, Commoners Muck, Aventador SV at the back, Ford GT, another Bugatti. Well, this lineup is actually ridiculous as we keep walking down here. C63 Black Series SLR, so that is a Vitesse in full carbon. Then we have the Carbon Series McLaren P1 with the red accents. Then we have another Bugatti Veyron with, ah, it's this car, it's the old um, Bajan car from California. Nice to see that again. I filmed that in Beverly Hills once before. Then we have, I think, a Novatec Rosso F12. Then we have a LaFerrari Aperta. Then we have another Bugatti Veyron Vitesse. And then we have the Koenigsegg Gira. And around that, we have a few more C63 Black Series. But just, um, just take this line in for a moment. What? This is the four Bugattis, P1, LaFerrari Aperta, this has put a price tag on this little lineup. I mean, you're one or two million, two or three million, four or five million. Uh, you, uh, yeah. What? 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 I don't know what to say. What on earth is this thing? The ultimate off-roading beast. Just look at the way this car is made, or this truck, this off-roading monster. It's huge and aggressive. Kalman King, that thing, or rather those two things. This is nuts. This is pure nuts. I can see a big TV in the back. Maybe I can get a proper look at that later on, but what on earth is that? It's just crazy. The black and gold McLaren 720S. We've just had the reveal of a special one-off McLaren 720S created for this motor show. The satin black paintwork and gold highlights with the wheels and some interior accents done by MSO, McLaren Special Operations. So you can see the 12 o'clock marking stripe and the shifter paddles. And then if we have a look at the rear wing back here, you can see in an old Arabic script that says, life is measured in achievement, not in years alone, which is a quote from Bruce McLaren. In fact, a quote that I actually have written on the number plate of all of my McLarens as well. So quite a nice uh, little tribute there. And we can also see the gold heat shield inside tribute back to the old McLaren F1. But other than that, carbon, 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 and the 720S as we know and love it. Check this out, the new Corvette ZR1 that was launched here at this show. This is the most track mental Corvette you could imagine from this generation. 755 horsepower, 969 newton meters of torque with a seven speed manual or an eight speed auto. It will be a track slayer. It has 431 kilos of downforce that come from the ZTK package wing that you've got on the rear. But just look at this thing. It takes a Corvette. It's got a completely new look to the front end, new bumpers, more intakes, that massive carbon splitter. It's clearly one Wider, the side skirts, it's got sticky rubber, I think Sport Cup 2 tires, and it just looks crazy. The bonnet bulge there, the carbon fiber above the engine over the top, just insanity. And you can see the uh, sports bucket seat inside. That is very, very cool. American car launched here at this motor show. We probably won't get those in the UK, but not bad, hey? Not bad, I would love to give that a drive. It must be so cool and it must sound insane as well. That V8, proper beast. Over at Brabus, I'm gonna start us with the Mercedes 300 SL Gullwing, the car that we saw at the Frankfurt Motor Show, fully restored by Brabus Classic. A beautiful, beautiful car. But the main thing here would be the lineup of G-Wagons. On the front here, we've got the 900 one of 10, only 10 obviously being made as the name suggests, 666,000 euros, the ultimate expression of Brabus G-Wagon, more or less, the anniversary car, 40th anniversary this year. Then we have the 850 Buscemi edition, which has new trim and interior design as well. Then the 700 before the Adventure 4x4 squared. Another one, I had a good look around one of these before. It's, well, the car for the jungle really, isn't it? With the wires up the front, the light bar across the top, the towing system down here at the front, and well, all around absolutely mental based on the 4x4 squared with full Brabus retrim to the interior as well. This thing is just <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> anyway, good little look around here. Ah, oh, let's come check out the 850 quickly in here. Quick glance. Whoa. Okay. Gold touches. 
Very crazy. Hey, look at the roof. Love that. Very, very cool. Nice. Remember these guys? Devel, the Devel 16 that we filmed here four years ago when it was launched? Well, they're back with an updated version of the 5,000 horsepower V16 Devel 16. And also, they have a Devel 60, the armored military vehicle behind. Now, I'm going to check these out in full in another video, so make sure you stay tuned to see that because I think they fully deserve airtime. This is. Dubai insanity at its very finest. I, yeah, just, just look at this car. 5,000 horsepower. Sheer craziness. Look at this Hurricane Performante in that colour. It's very similar to the cobalt blue of my Aston Martin, but that with the Tricolore stripes on the side that you see at the bottom looks very, very nice. And then behind it, the Aventador S Roadster and the regular Aventador. And over this side, on the Alfa Romeo stand, is the new Stelvio Quadrifoglio. So they've stuck the twin turbo V6 with 510 horsepower into the SUV which has been launched just recently. I think the press launch is actually happening out here as well. That's probably quite a fun thing to drive. Ferrari Portofino, and then the 812 Super Fast. This thing, the ultimate Super GT car. W Motors are back with their two cars. So on this side, we have the Lycan Hypersport that we're familiar with. We've seen this car in different color schemes before. And then we'll go over to the other side where we have the concept for the Fenir Supersport. So watch this space. We'll be seeing the final version of that car very soon. I'm looking forward to sharing it with you. But those two very, very crazy cars again from the Middle East. Woo, GT3, mine's coming soon, guys, but it's not going to be red. Looky, looky here then, the cover is off the Project One and it is so awesome seeing this again. It's super low actually, but that scoop on top, just like the F1 cars, it's got that turbocharged 1.6 litre V6 in the back. Just incredible. This thing is so, so, so futuristic and amazing to see again. But there's still, even now, so much we don't actually know about it. About how the aero works and some of the technical details. But nonetheless, very, very futuristic. Well done, Mercedes AMG. From Audi, just like we saw on the TTRS at Frankfurt, we've now got the Audi Sport performance parts for the R8. So let's have a quick look around this. You can see the carbon fibre canards, the extended front splitter with the red accents, the Audi Sport side skirts, and then coming around to the rear, look at this wing on the back of the R8 V10 here, combining perfectly with the carbon and the red accents all around it. I think that dials up an R8 in a really cool way, almost reminiscent of the race car, which if I spin around here, you have over there the R8 LMS race car behind the green RS5 on the stand here. Shield your eyes, guys. Take a look at this GTR that is, well, metal painted silver and then gold that gives it the most reflective surface you could imagine. It's got all of these different engraved patterns all around the car. That is most striking, presumably very, very delicate. Just look at it. The elegance and luxury of the new Rolls-Royce Phantom. And this is the extended wheelbase. In fact, I think it's actually a car that I already filmed with in the at the press launch. If you have a look, the purple, and just look at the carpets. Look at the deep pile of these carpets. The most incredible thing ever. And then, of course, my favorite touch on the new car. Swipe the handle and the door will shut as if by magic. Lovely thing, and this is the extended car, but if you want to know more about it, check out my full drive and feature with it. I think it's fair to say that the arrival in Dubai has gone fairly well. There have been a lot of very, very nice cars here at the show, and I've come back just to see this little lineup again, because quite frankly, it's utterly absurd what you see. This is actually the main entrance if you walk in as a, as a public visitor to the motor show, and you're greeted by hypercar insanity and then if we just come and have a quick glimpse right here all of the keys so the egg the bugatti keys the lambos mercs the ferrari p1 that's kind of cool isn't it which would you take for a drive though pick one one of these the agira the bugs the lapaperta the p1 carbon series 4gt maybe you know maybe one of these maybe the beast of the green hell no, I think realistically you're going to pick one of these, aren't you guys? 
Well, I've got a couple more weeks out here where it's basically going to be back to back ridiculous stuff and there are some more of the cars here that I want to show you in more detail like the interior of the Valkyrie a full piece with the Devel 16 so watch this space for those but this has got started in a very nice way so make sure you click the bell be subscribed to get all of the latest notifications with the videos that I'm going to be shooting over the next couple of weeks and I'm going to catch up with you guys again very very soon cheers